What's up, Food Ninjas? Welcome back to another video on my random trip of food challenges. Oreo, Reese's, and I are just about to check out of here and head to our next food challenge, which is just about a half hour away at a restaurant called Riviera Mexican Cantina and Sports Lounge. So this restaurant offers a massive six pound burrito that two of my friends have already done, Randy Santel and Michael Jenkins. And they've pretty much done like every challenge here in Florida. So I'm trying to play catch up on them. So we have just about 10 minutes to check out of here. And as you guys can see, Oreo is already ready to get out of here. You ready Reese's? You're always ready. Okay, let's get out of here guys. <laughs> Right, guys so we just made it to Riviera Mexican restaurant here in Crystal River Florida which was literally only a nine minute drive I thought it was gonna be a little longer but it was a nine minute drive from where I was staying at so it was a very simple journey but the burrito is getting ready and for the burrito challenge it is an unlimited time challenge so you just have to finish it in one sitting and it's filled with all the typical burrito ingredients rice beans chicken beef and tortilla on top of that there is a bunch of queso and quoting Michael it was a gallon of cheese. I don't think it's going to be a gallon, but that's what Michael says. And I know he's just exaggerating a little bit. Some sour cream and some lettuce. And I'm ready and I'm hungry right now for this burrito. Hopefully I can get it done in a reasonable time. I think I'm a little prepared. And with that said, I'll show you guys the burrito when it's here. Alright guys, so the six pound burrito is out and this thing is incredibly massive. So again, like I said, there is no time limit to finish this. If I do finish it, the meal is free. If I fail, I have to pay $30. So the record here is 22 minutes from what they said by Katina Eats Kilos, which is pretty impressive. I'm not aiming to beat any record. I just want to be able to finish this. But if I do, hey, that's cool. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. So in three, two, one. My timer has started right here so you guys can see. I don't even know how to tackle this thing. This thing is crazy. Oh my lordy lordy. Let's just cut it, see what's inside this beast. In fact, I'm just gonna start spooning stuff from the top. Okay. And that is our first piece. Wow. So we have the first corner done. This burrito is delicious. The fillings are wonderful. And it is a very messy burrito. I would never be able to eat this without utensils. And I hope you guys are enjoying the video thus far. So this is my fourth challenge on my food tour. Now, the whole point of this tour was to do food challenges, obviously, and just to get a little time for myself. I specifically found challenges that weren't too similar to each other. That's why all the challenges for this mini tour are all pretty different. The first one was a burger, the second one was a calzone, the third one was a pizza and garlic knot challenge, and the fourth one I'm doing, as you guys are watching, is the six pound burrito challenge. And the other two are very unique as well because I've never done challenges like those ones, and those ones will be posting here soon. We're eight minutes in and we're done with half of the burrito. The strategy is just to take out the fillings and just mix it up. And getting into the burrito challenge itself. I thought it was tasty. I thought it was delicious. However, there was a lot of cheese on it. It wasn't a gallon of cheese, but it was enough cheese to be just too much. It is a food challenge though, and that's what food challenges are about. They're not supposed to be easy. 
there's supposed to be an obnoxious amount of food on it. That's what makes it a challenge. So it looks like we're about halfway through here and burrito challenges aren't very difficult because there's not really much chewing involved. It's not like you have to chew through burger patties or tons of bread. It's just burrito and it's usually the easiest of all food challenges. I also forgot to mention that they spell your name with sour cream on the burrito itself. So I'll post a little video on top of the screen so you guys can see. If you guys didn't see it, I know it's kind of hard to see, but I thought that was a cool little feature that they do for the challenges. Huge shout out to the staff for being so accommodating. They were very friendly, they were very welcoming. They treated me like a family, which I super appreciated. So thank you to them. Thank you to you guys for the continued support. And if you're new, consider subscribing and enjoy the rest of the video. I think we have maybe a quarter left of the burrito. It feels like our feelings never end. They just keep on coming back. But we're making wave. Let's go ahead and finish this. Twenty-two minutes and seventeen seconds. Oh, that's my Easter Sunday. I'm not doing nothing else. Can you beat it? The record? Yeah. I think so. Twenty-two minutes and seventeen seconds. And you did talk at the beginning. I talked like the whole time. Fifteen seconds at the beginning, so. Yeah, I always talk in my videos. <laughs> All right, guys. So the burrito was a fantastic, and I think we are the new record holder here at Riviera Mexican Burrito, or here at Riviera Mexican Restaurants. 22 minutes. Whew. Reese's Oreo and Eyes Easter Sunday. What an Easter. And we just made it to our next hotel room here in Tampa, Florida. So huge thank you to Riviera Mexican Restaurant. The staff and managers were amazing. Huge thank you to them for making my experience pleasant. And I did ask just to make sure I was the new record holder, which I am. 22 minutes, I was not expecting to eat that burrito in 22 minutes. And on this trip, I think I have one more video to film, maybe two, but we've already been on the road for about a week and I think the girls are getting homesick. So we're definitely gonna squeeze one more video in on this little road trip. Thank you guys so much for continuing to support the channel. It means the world. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.